Today I'm gonna to show you how to do a really fun animation for your navigation bar on your Show It website. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So on this free template in Show It, you can see that as I scroll down, these little rectangles fly in from the left and from the, the right on this navigation menu. And the reason for that is because without them, it just kind of disappears. The one thing we want to make sure somebody is able to do at all points of time when visiting your website is click on your navigation or click on those priceless buttons <laughs> that are hopefully calling them to sign up for a service or, or buy a product. So let me show you how to do this on any show at website. And the best news is you need no code to do it. Here I am in the show at builder. And the first thing I wanna do is navigate to that main header or that nav bar. So here it is right here. You can see we've got all of our navigation links kind of set out for us in an orderly fashion. What we're going to do is actually going to come through and add some canvas views. And we want there to be two canvas views and we want them to be underneath all of the navigation links here on this specific canvas. So let me just take this out of this canvas view folder. And now we've got nothing in there. So we wanna keep that first one blank, right? So that's actually perfect. But the next one, we want to add a little rectangle. So I'm going to come down here to the elements and I'm going to click add a rectangle. And the first thing that we're going to do is change this to have a white background so we can see the words that are actually going to be on there. And then let's make it to the full size of this canvas. So I'll stretch it all the way to the right and left, and then I'll make it all the way to the top and bottom as well. And then one of the easy kind of things that I do is I just come over here and I say, okay, how big is my canvas? It's 100 pixels high and every single canvas on the desktop is 1200 pixels and then every single canvas on mobile is 320 so that we can go and say, all right, it's gonna be 1200 pixels wide and we want it to start at the very far left so the X would be zero, that's the X coordinate. The height is 100, because that's the height of our canvas, and the Y would be zero as well. So that just kind of centers it up and lets us know that it's there's not gonna be any kind of space peeking through as we're scrolling down. The other thing that we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we're horizontally locking this to both the left and the right. So what does that do? That means that as a web browser gets bigger, this is going to stretch with it. If we leave that unchecked, it's actually going to stay that size no matter how big the web browser is. So let's do that. And then let's come over here. And on this one, we're just kind of guessing. We don't really know the, the height of it, but we'll just make it to where it looks somewhat center. And then let's come over here and say 320 and we'll pull it all the way over. Okay, so what's happening here? Well, first of all, we've got two canvases. One of them is empty. So this will still be what people see when they come to our website, right? So there's nothing there, just like there's nothing in that first canvas. What we want to do is as they scroll down to this section, we want that second canvas to kind of pop up and take the place of that first canvas. So how do we do that? We use this great little tool called scroll actions. Let me show you what I'm talking about and how to make it happen within your show it website. So let's come back here to the home page. And let's say that when someone scrolls down to right about this section is when we want that canvas view to pop up. So what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna click on this canvas, make sure nothing else is selected because you won't see this option if any of the text or elements on that canvas is selected. So if you've got something selected, you can either click off onto the very far background or you can just click onto another canvas and then click on the one that you want the scroll action to be on. So I've got that all taken care of. Let's add scroll action and then we're going to add something and this is going to be percent from the top and we want this to be zero. We're gonna set the action to change canvas views. Then we're gonna select the canvas. We're gonna select navigation and we want it to move to canvas view two. Okay, so what's happening here? So what we're saying is that as the user scrolls, 
And when the web browser gets to about 0% from the top of this, so meaning it, the top of the web browser is hitting the top of this, we want it to change out canvas views. So let's go ahead and preview this and just see if it's all working. So I'll click preview, and then I'm gonna click this link on the top of this window, and it's going to open up another tab. So what is supposed to happen is that as we scroll down and the top of our browser up here hits the top of this canvas, the canvas view should change. So does it do it? And it does. But you'll notice it just kind of plops in there. That's not super elegant. So how do we change that? Well, let's go back to our Show It app and open up that navigation one more time. So if you see over here on the right hand side of the tools on this canvas, we've got a lot of options. There's canvas view, there's canvas, canvas background, animation, and then view transitions. This is the one that we want to change because this is the transition from one canvas view to the next. So what we wanna do is we wanna set this canvas view in to be a slide and we want it to come from down. And I know that's a little bit backwards, but trust me, this is, this is gonna work the way that we want it to. Then we want the next one to be to up, okay? So let's check this and just see if it's working. If I slide down, is it gonna slide down? And there it is right there. It's looking all beautiful, but what if we don't like how that stays there when we scroll back up, right? So we want it to come in whenever we're down in this section, but we want it to go back up whenever we scroll back up to the very top. All we've gotta do is add another scroll action. So let's do that. We're gonna go back to that home page. So we'll add it to this same section or the same canvas where we added that first scroll action in, but this time we're going to do it slightly higher from our other one and we want it to change back to canvas view one. So I just did that kind of quick. Let me talk through what I just did, right? So, okay, we've got our trigger. It's percent from the top, right, from this. But we want this to be, let's say about 30%. So that's gonna be higher than this trigger. Then we went to the canvas that we want to change the canvas view, navigation, that same one, and we want it to go back to canvas view one. So this one's triggering to canvas view two, this one's triggering to canvas view one. So let's go ahead and pre hit preview and just see if that works. So it slides in just like we would want, and then as we scroll up, it slides right out. So there you go. You can just do this all day once you're done with it. Like it's just so pretty and eloquent. Well, I, I hope that this has maybe opened up a realm of possibilities for you on what you could do with your Show It website. This is a cool little function, cool little animation that has a lot of uses and it also engages the user experience. So it's gonna be beneficial all around. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss another episode. We'll see you soon.